recording. Hello everybody, I'm Paul Banook from Recording Magazine, and today we're taking a look at one of the most iconic microphones in history, the Neumann U67. The U67 is a large diaphragm tube microphone that was first introduced in 1960. It was originally conceived as the replacement for Neumann's U47 when parts for that mic became scarce and production ceased. The U67 was built around a K67 capsule, which has gone on to be one of the most copied capsule designs in history, and one that is still in use today in modern Neumann U87 AI microphones. The U67 is a multi-pattern microphone with a choice of cardioid, omni, and figure eight patterns, all available on the front of its body. It was also one of the first microphones to offer an onboard 10 dB pad and a 100 Hz high pass filter to help trim rumble and proximity effect. The U67 ceased production in 1971, although it did have a brief resurgence in early 1990 when Neumann discovered some new old stock U67 parts and brought the mic back into production for a few years until those parts ran out. Sadly, vintage specimens can now fetch up to $15,000 on the secondhand market. The good news is that the Neumann U67 lives again, just like Neumann did with their U47 FET Collector's Edition microphone back in 2015. Neumann are now offering a newly minted reissue of this classic microphone, and it's available again now. We have an in-depth review of this new version in our May 2019 issue of Recording Magazine. From its EF86 tube to its BV12 output transformer and the K67 capsule, this is 100% a reissue. It's not a clone, it's not an inspiration, and it's not a new and improved version. It's hand-built in Germany, just like the originals, and Neumann have gone to great lengths to remanufacture as many of the original parts as possible, and there's only a few minor replacements, and most of those are to comply with current ROHS specifications. It comes in a kit with a deluxe briefcase, and inside you get the power supply, a vintage shock mount, and the cables. The new model sells for around $7,000, which is not cheap, but it is, in every way, a true U67. To put this mic to the test, I spent an afternoon at Steve Albini's studio, Electrical Audio, in Chicago, Illinois, where staff engineer John Sanpaolo helped me compare it to a pair of the studio's vintage specimens one from 1964 and the other from 1967. John set all three mics up in Studio B in a star pattern, and we tracked acoustic guitar and vocals through three of the studio's custom-built electrical audio microphone preamps straight into Pro Tools. Singing and playing guitar for us was Chicago-based singer-songwriter Silas Short, who also plays with the band Early Face. As the song plays, we will cycle through all three models so you can see if you can hear any differences. Well, I've been down this road plenty of time. Why waste time talking when you could smile? Oh, it's been so long since we've seen sun. Oh, how I want this simple love. Oh, your precious smile is my desire. 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 Well, I've been down this road plenty of time. Why waste time talking when you could smile? Oh, it's been so long since we've seen sun. Oh, how I want this simple love. Oh, your precious smile is my desire. Oh, your precious 
There you have it, a trio of U67's old and new. I'm going to let John have the last word on some video that I grabbed quickly on my iPhone when I was at the studio. It almost, I mean, it's its what you would expect a U67, I think, to sound like newer. It's like, you know how there are all these 1176 clones that are out there? Like, no, they don't sound like the 1176 they're butted against, but they behave that way. And I don't know, in my mind's eye, I think it would be if you bought a brand new U67. I'd like to thank John and Electrical Audio for their help and Silas for coming down and playing for us. You can check out more about Electrical Audio. I'll post the link below. And be sure to check out Silas's band Early Face on Bandcamp and most of the streaming services. Again, I'll post a link below. If you'd like to learn more about the Neumann U67, check out my review in the May 2019 issue of Recording Magazine. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like icon and better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more how-to videos, comparisons, and more. You can also follow us on social media, and be sure to stop by our website, recordingmag.com, for the best in all things recording, where you can also subscribe to our print publication, now in its 32nd year. We'll see you soon.